Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. And as you guys know, Apple came out with a new update, the iOS 14. And everybody has been customizing their phone, super cute. I have the iPhone X, and this case is from Amazon. It's just a see-through case, and then it says my name at the bottom, which I think is super cute. So this is what my lock screen looks like. It's just a picture of a beach, and it's super simple and pretty. So this is what my first page looks like. I have Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, photos, notes. Spotify and then at the bottom I have my messages Safari and phone calls these apps are like the ones I use the most So obviously I'm probably on Instagram the most and then I literally use Pinterest so much I feel like it's so weird and no one does that and it's like a mom app but you can literally find anything on there they have like the cutest backgrounds the cutest quotes the cutest outfit ideas like the best recipes I'm literally obsessed with Pinterest and I feel like such a mom when I say that but that's just the truth and then I have YouTube because I'm always watching YouTube videos, my photos, notes because I'm always writing stuff down so I don't forget. And then Spotify. And then at the top I have a calendar and it says September 1st but it's literally October 1st so I have no idea why it says that. But it's still really cute and I have no idea how to fix that. And then at the bottom I have one that just says Thursday and I think they're super cute. And then this is what my second page looks like and at the top I just have a picture of me and my boyfriend. We were in my living room and like I looked at our shadows and I was like that's so cute let me take a picture. And then I like never used it for anything but then I looked at the picture and it fit like the theme of my phone so I used it and it's super cute and I really like it. And then I have another one and it just says he has a plan and I have a purpose and I thought it was just a really cute quote. The next folder I have is just the social media apps that I don't use as often. I have Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. I like only use Snapchat to like talk to my family and then I put TikTok on this page because I did not want to spend all my time on TikTok because literally you get on that app and then you spend like an hour there so I was just trying to stay away from this app because I will literally be on there all the time. And then I have a folder of a bunch of Apple apps that I sometimes use but usually don't use that much. And then I have photo and video and these are just the apps that connect to my printer and an app that connects to my camera. The next folder I have is a finance folder and it just has Venmo and the bank that I use. The next folder that I have is photo and video and pretty much I use all these apps to edit my thumbnails. It's literally such a process. I pretty much only use Visco if I'm like editing an Instagram photo but the rest of these I use for my thumbnails or my videos. So then I have a productivity which basically I just have like all the apps that I use for school. So I have Google Docs, I have Zoom, and then I have Canvas which is basically like a Google Classroom but for college and then I have a calculator Google Slides and then this app called the band app that me and my cheer team use to like communicate with each other before we could meet in person so then I have extras which these didn't really have like a folder that they fit in but I still use these apps. this first one is actually really helpful if you kind of are getting into like fitness or you're getting into like kind of just eating healthier or really like watching what you're eating because obviously health is wealth so basically Basically, you can come on here and click the plus button and you can click food and you can type in your breakfast, lunch, or dinner and your snacks too. And basically, it'll tell you the amount of calories each meal has and then it has the macros, which is the protein, the carbs, and the fats, which that's what makes this app so helpful in my opinion is because a lot of times companies will make their product look like it's super healthy when it's really not. So I really like to like run foods I'm not sure about through here. It also will tell you if a food is super high in fat. I don't really use this app anymore but I used it a lot my sophomore year. Then I didn't really know much about nutrition nor did I care that much. So if you're really trying to like get into that stuff I recommend this app so much. It actually helps a lot. The next app I have is this roadside assistance and basically like if you break down or you get a flat tire they will come replace your tire or they'll come get you like if you're stranded. So that's really helpful. And then the next app I have is the Bible app and sometimes I will listen to it when I'm doing my makeup and then these are the two apps that I use to customize my phone and for the calendar on my first page I use color widgets and then for the next little mini widget I have that says Thursday on it I use Widget Smith I use Widget Smith for the picture of me and my boyfriend and then the quote that I have I do 
recommend either of these apps because they're both really helpful. This last folder of apps I have is just a bunch of Apple apps like I never use but I just kept them just in case I needed them. But also my phone literally deleted everything off it like two months ago and I called Apple and I stayed on the phone with them for over five hours and we literally could not get any of my stuff to come back. So I just had to delete it all so that is why my phone has like hardly any apps but I'll probably just keep it like this because it looks super clean. I don't play any games either. I just realized that a lot of people have games on their phone. I'm just like not a fan. I feel like they're a waste of my time and then I feel like if I just played it like what do you gain from it? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm probably just overthinking it but yeah that is just what's on my iPhone. I know I don't have a lot of stuff on there. So that is everything that's on my iPhone so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Missing someone.